Good afternoon to you all once again. My sorry, my presentation is on um, an assessment of university library portals in Zambia. Um, can you hear me? I can hear you. I don't know about the others loud and clear, clear and I can see your presentation also. Okay, so I'll quickly go ahead. Um, I need to mention that this is work in progress um, on my proposal stage, so corrections are very welcome and contributions. So I'll quickly go into the, the background of the study. So as I mentioned earlier, the topic is on an assessment of university library portals in Zambia. The background of the study is coming from the the reality on the ground is showing us that there's been an increase in the number of universities currently. Um, according to the Higher Education Authority, we are at 60 right now that have registered with the authority, which is a statutory body created to oversee the running of these universities. So with these um, universities that have come up, there's been an increase definitely. We all know a university needs to have a library so there's been an increase in these libraries. And we've seen that um, libraries now are offering e-resources. So most libraries from my survey has shown that these e-resources, journals, um, IRs are being um, given to their users through web portals. So a web portal is a type of site designed to, to present to the user the ability to visit and provide a link to another site. With the increase in the number of library portals comes the need for usability assessment of these portals. So usability is considered as one of the most important aspects for the success of any technological product, in this case, library portals. So a usability problem is something that is confusing, misleading, or suboptimal in interface. The purpose of um, usability is to find usability complications in a prevailing user interface design and use these complications to make recommendations for fixing the problems and improving the design of the websites. So when we talk about usability here, we're simply referring to the user. What problem does this user come across and how can they be sorted? So the statement of the problem is, why are we having this research? What are we trying to get up to? Is there a gap that we're trying to bridge? So as I had mentioned earlier, universities in Zambia are, or are and should be registered under a statutory body called the Higher Education Authority. So one of these, um, one of the regulations stipulated by the HEA is the need for the provision of e-resources and subscription to international journals and databases. So from research, most international universities are offering these resources through portal platforms. So the study now is trying to see if universities in Zambia have adopted these portals and if they have, how many of them, and also, it's trying to find out how these portals have been implemented. And lastly, the usability of these um, present portals in these libraries will also try to be, will be checked to see if um, there's an effective and efficient means of knowledge delivery. The research objectives, the general objective of the study is to assess the usability of library portals in Zambia. Then we go on to the specific objectives Firstly, well, we are trying to investigate the extent to which universities in Zambia have adopted these portals, which we're trying to find out how many. The first ob specific objective is trying to let us know how many have adopted these portals. Secondly, to determine if these portals um, are in line with um, other international portals do they have the common characteristics or principles that these other portals have as they were being created? And thirdly, we're trying to explore the user's perception on usability of the university library portals. Basically, we're trying to know how the users are finding these portals. 
Are there any problems? Are there any challenges that they are coming across? And by users, we're meaning um, lecturers, students, any other external researchers that visit these portals. So our research questions are basically a mirror of the research objectives. Firstly, um, what extent have universities in Zambia adopted library portals? Secondly, what key features or characteristics have been integrated into existing library portals? And thirdly, what are the users' perceptions on usability of these university library portals? The significance of the study, the study will aim to provide answers to the effectiveness of the information design of these Zambian library academic portals as um, information communication channels, and if there is need to change and improve the current portals. Secondly, the findings will also add to the already existing, existing literature in the field of website usability of the academic library portals and may prompt further research, especially for us here in Zambia. Um, then we go on to our conceptual framework. This our conceptual framework comes from a study that was conducted in uh, at the University of Rahana in Sri Lanka by Ramanayaka and others in 2017. So from their study, they, they carried out a usability study on their site, and um, they came up with six elements that comprise a usability study. So these elements are the are effectiveness of the effectiveness rather, learnability, satisfaction, usefulness, and sex accessibility and efficiency. If all these elements, all testing all these elements helped to help them to find out if their portal was usable. In our literature review, we had quite a number of um, literature, literature that was reviewed, but I just picked on um, uh, three titles. So the first one, Manisha and Penn, 2016, um, researched on web, web portals in library environment, and their findings focused on the importance of a portal in an institution and highlighted the need for portal development to take place at across traditional institutional structures. Our next um, authors are Aokwefa and Rida, who had the title of the study of Comprehensive Analysis of Academic Library Websites. They highlighted that the library's homepage represents a new platform for delivery of varieties of library services and gives academic libraries the leverage and ammunition they need to outperform competitor websites and gain the loyalty of students, teachers, and researchers. Then lastly, Judy, um, in a title called What is Usability in the Context of the Digital Library and How Can It Be Measured? Um, according to her findings, based on the ISO standards um, 9241-11, Judy developed a usability evaluation model for digital libraries and aspects for evaluation attributes that focused on effectiveness, efficiency, satisfaction, and vulnerability. This is quite similar to the elements we had in our conceptual framework. So <clears throat> we go on to our methodology. Um, the, basically, the whole research design will be based on a mixed method design that combines both quantitative and qualitative approaches. So the mixed method research design will further take a convergent parallel mixed method, which will involve me, the researcher, converging or, in, or merging quantitative and qualitative data in order to provide a comprehensive analysis of the research problem. The collection of this data will be done at roughly the same time, which will necess necessitate the integration of information in the interpretation of overall results. So we go to our first objective. Um, I need to mention that the data will be collected according to each objective. So we start with our first objective. Um, this will involve finding out how many portals, how many universities rather have adopted portals in Zambia. So our 
population will involve a survey in all universities under the higher education authority. As I had mentioned earlier, there are 60 of them. So we, I will need to collect um, a list of these universities and their uh, persons of contact from the higher education authority. So then an online questionnaire will be sent to these persons of interest or contact persons. The sampling procedure in this case involves purposive sampling because I'm purposely sampling these people in order to find out if they have um, library portals in their institutions. Um, as I had mentioned, data will be collected using online questionnaires. So after I collect this data, one of the questions that will be on these questionnaires will be, I will ask if they do have a library portal. And if they do, I will need proof of this portal, which will be um, providing me a link to that portal. So when I'm given that link, I will have to go be it 60 universities one by one and go to their, their university sites and look for their library portals and assess if um, these portals or these links to these portals are worth being called library portals. From literature, I've found out um, certain characteristics that these portals should encompass, and then I have to check if these links provided actually possess these characteristics. This will lead me to the objective number two, which is the investigation of characteristics or guidelines or principles um, used in the implementation of these library portals. The population in this case will involve um, universities that have library portals. That's the results obtained from objective one. And um, <clears throat> the participants in this uh, case will involve librarians. Um, I must mention that librarians that were not involved in the implementation of these portals, but have bachelor's degree in library and information science because um, they have acquired a basic knowledge of websites whilst in university. So from literature, we, Nielsen 2000, justifies using five participants for a heuristic evaluation as there is no real need to keep observing the same thing multiple times. So I need to mention that the heuristic evaluation in this case is a form of, uh, it's an expert evaluation that is also a usability evaluation that involves experts. So this, this heuristic evaluation is a usability inspection method for computer software that helps identify usability problems in the interface. It involves evaluators examining the interface and judging its compliance with recognized usability principles. Um, a usability evaluation um, comes with a checklist that are called heuristics that you check against to see if a website is usable. So our sampling method will involve purposive sampling because I'm purposely sampling these librarians because of the knowledge they possess. And um, the data, data measurement instrument will involve online questionnaires. Um, once these questionnaires are administered, um, the librarians will be required to carry out a practical exercise while, whilst answering these questionnaires as there will be a checklist that they will need to, that will guide them whilst they are on this practical exercise. So the third objective, which is the last one, involves um, exploring the user perception on usability of the portals. Our population in this case will again be the universities with library portals. Um, our participants will include students and lecturers at the respective universities. Our sampling procedure will involve stratified random sampling, which will be adopted in the selection of students I beg your pardon, I left out lectures here for the study. Then our sample size determination um, from literature, um, Cochrane 1977, gives us with um, 
that formula for an infinite population size, in this case for the number of universities that will have library portals. At this stage, I do not know what number that is. That is why it's an infinite um, population size. I mean, infinite sample size. No, 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 sorry, infinite population size. So with that formula, when I get to substitute, the actual sample size comes to 384. The data, met, data measurement instrument, again, will involve online questionnaires. In this case, um, we, we will use a usability test called the system usability scale. The SUS, as it's as shortcut as it called, comprises 10 questions that users on a website or portal are required to answer. It uses, it uses a Likert scale with values from above one to five to rate the answers, where one represents strongly disagree and five represents strongly agree. Um, as I mentioned, just to clear, to clear this, as I mentioned before, we have a heuristic evaluation as a usability test. In this case, we have a system usability scale. There are so many usability tests that have been created or that exist. So it just depends on the type of testing you are carrying on or one that is applicable to your study. So the data analysis SPS will be used to analyze the quantitative data. While the qualitative data will be sorted into categories of responses and generated themes from which interpretations will be made and conclusions drawn. Um, ethical clearance, our respondents' confidentiality will be respected. Um, the rights and values also will be respected. There will be non-interference for, part for participants' responses. Findings from this um, research will be used for academic purposes only, and approval will be requested from the UNSA Research and Ethics Committee. And then um, information and consent forms will be provided to all participants before they can answer the questionnaires. The limitations of the study will, will um, firstly, the implementation of the data procedure will in certain times, certain instances rather, prove to be a challenge on the researchers part as some library portals give full access only to fully paid up students and members of staff. This may limit the collection of data on um, parts of the, on my part as a researcher. Then secondly, the lack of previous or published studies in the research area in Zambia will be a limiter in the literature review, as it is an important part of any research because it, it helps I, to identify the scope of works that have been done in any research area. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dokora, for the talk. Uh, very, now I was going to say very insightful, very interesting, but then I, <laughs> I just realized that I'd be lying here because I, I know what you were talking about anyway. Um, um, but just to mention that uh, both Dr. Kandel and myself think that uh, we've, we've made tremendous progress, or at least Dokora has made tremendous progress. I mean, we've been at it for a little under six months now, I think. Is that not so, Dokora? Yes, sure. it is. From February. Right. So. So, so we think that we're making progress, right? And I just mentioned to the 5310 students that are in the house here that part of the reason why we decided to sneak in somebody who is um, in phase two of their work is to give you a, a bit of um, context of what's awaiting you next year, I suppose. Um, although we know that you've already started working towards this in 5010, essentially. Um, and, and so with that being said, just to also mention that it's entirely possible that there's some tiny little aspects of what the COI just presented that might, uh, might change, I suppose. Um, and also we've been playing around with the idea of trying to see if we can have the COI um, sneak in some sort of implementation associated with what she's doing. So can we showcase to people to say, this is how you go about setting up or implementing a library portal, for instance. Uh, the COI, the expert in the house will tell you, for instance, that the, the UNSA library portal has certain aspects to it, that wouldn't necessarily qualify that particular side of the UNSA website as being a library portal, right? So like, for instance, you won't find any sort of uh, federated search service um, on the portal itself. So 
um, we'll invite questions. If people have any specific questions for the call, please feel free and uh, ask away. Thank you.